Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes. And go over there to the Mag TV and watch some of his videos. They are hilarious. Yes, Nene, why do you have your legs wide open for a married man? Uh huh. This is where you got your kiss from him. Mm hmm. And the wife came out of your ass. And she won't get off of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you all smiles, but scammer ain't no Greg Leaks. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the scammer who got his wife to actually get that hundred grand. And what they gonna do with that hundred grand? I guess they gonna split it fifty fifty. Ooh, it's a shame and a scandal, a shame and a scandal, Jeannie, that you got bamboozled who went, was it who it went, and trampled on by this man. Yes, honey, Greg said you could go on because he couldn't take it no longer. He was going home to be with the father. He said, you go on, girl, you go on. And you went on. Now you talking about Candy Burris taking care of a man. You're talking about Kim Zosiac. Can't close her legs. But look at here, looky, looky, look at who comes kicky. We got Nene Leaks messing with a married man. Okay? But she did take breaks from some other woman, right? So maybe this is just due. <laughs> A comma coming back to her. But at least when you were a home wrecker, you weren't shelling out no money. This lady came out to you because she lived in North Carolina. North Carolina rules states, law states, if you cheat, I'm coming for you. I ain't really coming for you, but I'm coming for the person that has the money. I'm like, Nene, where is your PR people? Where is your PR people? But they are definitely failing your ass tonight. Yes, you remember that white Caucasian woman who you try to emulate here and there and there and here? Yes, honey. Is that your big papa? Is that your big papa, girl? Because Kim had a big papa when she was on the show. And you was wearing her ass out every chance you get. You be throwing it up in her face. Why you messing with a married man? You don't need to be messing with no married man. Ooh, he a rich married man, huh? Ooh, you know, all these things need to be going about talking about. Now, can we have the same conversation about scammer man? Can we have a conversation about scammer man? Shaba, he used your platform, your notoriety, Nene, to, for you to put him out, out center and front, front and center, so people can buy his clothing. Okay? That's his wife, y'all. And that's their shop. <laughs> I guess the Nene had a private investigator. I'm pretty sure. Naomi. And that woman called Mal is in that entity of his enterprises of fixing his clothes or his, you know, tailor made clothes. I'm sure she's somewhere on the deed to their business. Okay, so yes, Nene, you got sucker, baby. You got sucker punch. But if you can see into everybody else's life, why you couldn't see it coming in your lane, honey? This man was playing you like a fiddle, and he played you real. 
yes, he paid you like a piano. And you were the black keys, all right? You got more white keys than black keys on the piano, okay? I'm like, girl, you got, 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 got good. Okay? You got, 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 and got, got good. Did you keep up with me, Nene, when I say what I say? You got to talk about you and Kim. And you calling her a whore. You calling her a marriage wrecker. You calling her crazy for messing with a married man. And everything that goes with it, horrific. You roll her ass about messing with a married man. Now look at, look at, look at. Okay? There's no cookie for you, Nene. There's no cookie. Because this man, wife, is coming after you from 100K or more. Now, is it possible that you got set up, baby, by her being a scammer and him being a scammer? Because let's think about it. He showed you no affection. None. Now, that little something-something over there, he was small. When I small, he was young. But he could have been a better fit for you just to say you've got a companion and, and you want to be a cougar out there. That would have been more believable than you messing with somebody that's a married man and calling himself or he telling you, well, we're legally separated. But I've been separated a long I've been separated. Separated her for years. She knows what it is. And he fooled you, Nene. He fooled you to get into your bank account. As well as to get lavish trips. As to get uh, your notoriety from your friends in the business and industry. You know how many lucrative deals he has gotten behind off of you. Off of your back. Off of all the work you did. On that ratchet TV show they call Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes. He won. Like close them long legs. Down. Shut it down for married men. Because they're going to cost you. Right now you're buying this man. Now at least we can say Kim didn't buy no man. He bought her. But you call her a prostitute. You bought her everything but child God. And looky, looky, looky. I bet if we were to ring. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, I'm doing ring a ding. Kim, Kim, did you see what's on television? Your girl, Nene, she picked up you about Big Papa. And look at her. Big Papa didn't sue you. His wife didn't sue you. But guess who's suing Nene? Ooh, Neone. You know, she's been talking about his boyfriend. And she's been traveling here, there, and everywhere. Girl, you got to call her and mess with her. Go on now, call her. Go get her back. She was telling you, go get your scooter. Go get a scooter. You remember all that? Even Kenya, that beautiful black girl, she tried to tell Nene too. Yes, she did. But Nene didn't listen. Nene still ain't listening. She was on her Instagram going live. Yes, she was. Mm hmm child. Going, yeah, going. Just talking, talking, talking shit. You know like how she usually do. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Yes, you were. Yeah, she ain't messing with no married man. Now, we got evidence. We got evidence. Can I go to evidence? And the lady is suing her in Fort County. Did you not know that? And you call me calling the help. Call me calling now. And this is Kim saying, okay, sugar, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Now, you make sure you do it now, okay? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Click, hang up the phone. That was the conversation that Kim probably had with one of her best girlfriends. You see what I'm saying? She was like, oh, how dare. And then she might be talking with poor her husband, honey. Like, oh, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Look at honey. Look at Nene. She's all over the papers. All on her line of giant constitution. And she's talking about, I mess with that. Look at her. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna feel sorry for her. I ain't gonna pick you out of her. I might laugh here and there. And then you might talk about it. But they, they ain't going out the house. They ain't going out the house. And if our kids overhear us and they put it on social media like that, then we got to deal with it. But I don't care. I don't like that help anyway. Yes, honey. That's his wife right there. In the middle. Smack dab in the middle. 
Yeah, smack dab in the middle. And you see, he wasn't as dappled. I don't know, he didn't look as, you know, together like he is now. I'm talking about the scam over to the left. Like he was a little bit more fatter and stuff. Yeah, Nina, you probably should have played around with the young guy. You should have been a cougar. At least you could have probably kept him on a leash just a little bit. But honey, you don't know nothing about African men. You don't even know about anything about black men. Okay? Because you know how to get their money. You know how to be a home worker. Because you did break somebody's house. You took grant from somebody. He was actually married. Now you just got played it back to you in your face. Calm as a bitch, isn't it? Calm is such a bitch. But she going to ask for more than a hundred grand. I'm just looking at her, trying to fill her out. She going to want you to set her up, honey. All the scammer little sh shop we got here and there across the country. You going to be footing that bill. Nay, nay. You going to be footing that bill. You just didn't know you got scammed. I, that's all I see it as. Because he showed you no type of affection. For anybody to get the wrong impression, you were mostly hanging on him, talking about him, and he was just sitting at you, sitting by you, like, you know, y'all were cool, y'all were just friends, maybe best friends, you know what I'm saying? He ain't like roll up on you or none of that. And look where we at now. Look where we at. Square one. You talk about Kim was a hoe. Look who the hoe now, Nanny. Look in the mirror. She was smiling right back at you. Mm-hmm. Man still a Look in the mirror, Nene. Mm-hmm. Yes, you stole. You took, well, like I said, you can't really be taking stuff from somebody that don't want to be taken. You know what I'm saying? So, just because you have an unhappy relationship with your wife or your husband, don't mean you're supposed to get out there and see what's green on the other side. Because it ain't green. If you water your own, it'll grow. It'll be greener sooner or later. But y'all remember Nene was trying to, you know, put him on the spot. He talking about all African men from birth, they're already taken or something to that degree. I like, see, that's what I'm saying. That ain't, that ain't nothing but a, a hot, pissy mess. You hear me? A hot, pissy mess. And I'm like, Nene, where is your team? Where is your PR person? Hell, go on and get Kim Zosia. Bring her on. And and see how she, she got through the situation when she was messing with Big Papa. See, Big Papa, wife wasn't coming out the king. Or if she was, they sure kept it on the hush hush. But the only thing I can see, this scammer got you and got you good. He's taking you for some money, and he's taking you for your notoriety of the people that you do know. Now, one thing I can say about him, if he does make his own clothes, the shit be looking good. Sharp as a cat. You know what I'm saying? Might need to introduce Father Time, but we ain't gonna bother Father Time too much today because it's his birthday. We let him rest, okay? We saw him happy birthday over there. Did what he make it do, but we still trying to figure him out too. I say scammer number two. But for Portia and Nene to be this stupid, and this is not their first go around with men being married to them or just in a relationship with them, this is crazy as hell. This should not be happening. But people can say, oh, well, she's she's sad and she's going through this. Damn, I don't care, honey. You don't want to be that sad, uh, sad with your bank account being depleted. Man, you're going to have to go get an everyday job. Because with this lawsuit you already got going on with Bravo, ain't nobody going to touch you with a 10-foot pole, child. And I mean a 10-foot pole. Put 20 feet on it. Put 20 feet on it. Ain't nobody going to touch you. But I just had to come. And make this video. Uh, I think you need to give Kim Zozek Berman, Nene, I think you need to call her up, do the right thing, and apologize to her. Because you basically have gotten yourself in the same shoes other than Kim still won because she got what, a car, a truck or something. She got money. She got bills paid. She got she got a lot. Okay, You ain't doing that but dishing out a lot of what Kim got. So who really won in this situation? Who really won, Nene? Looks like Kim is one, you're zero. And the match keeps going. Because now, we're finished with you needing to apologize. Either on the phone in a letter, put it on a, a good year blimp up in the sky. But you need to apologize to Kim Zosiak 
for all the mean things you said to her, how you treated her when it came to her messing with a married man. Because you were in the same situation. And people were on your live tonight asking you important questions. Is this true about your boyfriend? And you denied every last one of them. You said, I ain't looking at them, them comments. I ain't finna think about them comments. I see you, but I ain't finna answer you. And you just answer other shit that we really care nothing about. We know where the Nithia Lounge is. And we know the times they are open for business. You don't have to shove me down our throat. But yes, ma'am, yes. Yes, ma'am, yes. Yes, ma'am, you need to give Kim Zosiak an apology. All right, guys, this is part one. We're going to move on to Peter Thomas in part two. <laughs> we got some choice words for him as well as Nene listening to him. He could have been part of the setup, too. Okay, since Nene had to call him a bitch, he might have thought about, well, damn, I can work two, st two, two birds at one stone. Okay, I can hit both of them. All right? Hmm. I can get Cynthia back. It, it, and there's so many possibilities. We can go with the scenarios on this one mistake Nene made. And that's, you know, what do you call it? Uh, falling for a married man. And then the wife come out of the woodworks. I mean, this is a spectacular. If anything, it has to be a setup, guys, because... I have never seen Nene or heard of Nene taking three very lucrative trips. Las, well, Las Vegas is not that lucrative. But going over to Africa and going over to France, Italy, or Paris, France. Those are some expensive trips. Unless they got a good bargain because you know, nobody's really traveling these days because of COVID. But what an opportunity time, an opportune time to sit there and travel and be seen with her husband. And like I said, he's showing no affection towards her. He ain't hugging on her. He ain't kissing on her. Not doing none of that. But then I found one picture today where he's kissing her. I'm like, hell, the wife don't came out and I'm putting the court of law. She wants Nene to meet her at this said time, at this said time, because guess what? It's going to be a case, a case of this woman, which is Amber Man's wife. She's saying she has been emotionally disturbed and she needs cash compensation, okay? She needs cash compensation to get her her own building paid for by none other than Mr. Mrs. Nene and Greg Leakes. Because we know she's spending his death money. But we don't really know. We just speculating over here. But that ain't the point. That ain't the point. Child, baby. We got more to go. We got more. We got a lot of toll in the road. Huh? We got a lot to go on with this uh, situation. But Portia better be listening. And she better be looking. And try to ascertain whether she would be the next victim. Okay? But that's all I got for this video. We do know she treated Big Papa wrong and she treated him wrong. Is it wrong? Or is that another word? I'm making that shit up. Okay? But either way, she said some things she shouldn't have said because now they're barking and barking on her doorstep. And it's hitting the uh, door saying, let me in, let me in. This is your conscience talking. Okay. All right. But that's all we have for this particular video. And we will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.